I have a story to tell you. I have a story to tell you. Once upon a time, there was a little dog. And she tipped her head. She liked to go to many places, to the porch, to the yard. She liked to go out and get a snow. So that was my Jack Russell. Um, I really like talking with her, uh, messing with her over telling stories. Uh, I don't know, it's just funny to me how she tips her head. I think that's more of a personal thing than something that uh, the whole world would think was just all that fantastic, but uh, I get a kick out of it. Um, today, Wednesday, August 1st, 2007. August hasn't come soon enough for me. It seems like July was a really long month. I can't wait for the fall. I'm getting really tired of hot weather. Um, um, so I've been trying to keep up on news and various things like that, but uh, sometimes it feels really difficult to weed out truth from just pure and utter bullshit and hype. Um, I don't even know that uh, the mass media in general is completely trustworthy. Um, I think that it's very difficult to find uh, factual sources that don't put some spin on something. Um, and I don't know what that exactly says about our society. Sorry if I'm slow. I'm always a little bit slower because I'm not planning any of this if I ever talk. I'm just talking off the top of my head uh, rather than entertaining at the moment. I, I'm not interested in entertaining anybody. This is just more of the personal kind of thing that uh, is my little diary to the rest of the world, or at least to you two. <laughs> whoever, is, whoever is going to be uh, bored enough to sit and listen to me ramble on, uh, let's put it that way, because I, I wouldn't say that I'm the most interesting person. Uh, I could be interesting if I was having a two-way conversation, it's just I am not a star. I was never meant to be behind the camera uh, entertaining people. Um, that isn't something that I have a desire to do. Uh, I think I have a desire to try and see things in various ways and um, I don't know that I always accomplish that because I can be very strongly opinionated at times and, and that could be a good thing but it can also be a bad thing because once I take a stance on something uh, it's as though I'm giving it uh, that stamp of approval and, and saying and being rigid and and that's something I just find difficult to want to be is too rigid um, I don't know there's just something to me about rigid intolerance of any kind uh, that just digs under my skin uh, and even I do it at times I, I just think it's something that is ingrained just a part of, of humans uh, it, it's more comfortable to try and find a balanced platform to stand on and 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 when you're not uh, you can often draw people to assume that you know you're just milk toast you're just you know constantly riding the fence and you have no views and that's not the case a lot of times when I'm not giving 
a specific viewpoint when when I'm when I seem a little bit, bit more like I'm riding the fence or I'm just bland as far as opinion goes. Um, I I think it's because I'm just trying my best to be impartial and. Uh, that's a difficult thing to hold on to and balance. It's easier to be opinionated and to live within some kind of confines of belief or whatever. And um, once I do that, uh, I don't know. It's just I don't even like myself all that much because uh, I can't. I don't feel that I can be objective anymore. I don't believe that I can uh, really hear anyone out without having this preformed opinion of uh, who they are, no matter what their belief system is or their lifestyle is or anything else. Uh, so anyway, that's enough rambles for now. I just wanted to kind of do a uh, update ramble for a change. Uh, thanks. Bye.